In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an animated signature that looks like this one. So this is what it will look like when you're done. It's just a kind of like pulsing signature. So this is really easy to make. I'm just going to just open up a new image that's 480 by 180. Well, the size doesn't really matter. That's just a good signature size. You can go ahead and use a signature that you already have and just add the pulsing effect. But if you don't have a signature ready, you can, um, I'll show you something you can do. So go to, um, to make just a cool looking background like the one I had, go to filters, render, cloud, solid noise. And the settings you are going to want to use, well, detail to and check randomize and the details too and you can just adjust the x and y size now create a new layer just by pressing this little page icon from your layers dialog and go to filters and just repeat solid noise you can do this by pressing control f and make sure you had checked randomize now set this on to difference and then go to image merge visible layers then go to colors colorize and these are my settings but you can use any settings you want to change the color I'm just making it blue now I'm just going to add some text Now I'm just going to merge all my layers down by right clicking on my text layer and selecting merge down. Now duplicate this layer um, about five times so that in all you have just um, duplicate it four times so you have five layers. Now just hide the, uh, the first two layers <coughs> and select this middle layer and go to filters blur motion blur and select zoom as blur type and for links I'm gonna put in 50 now go to the next layer which is this one and go to filters, blur, motion blur, and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in 75. You can adjust this accordingly. Just, you just want it to increase. And go to the top layer and go to filters, blur, motion blur again. And for links, I'm just going to put in eighty five now you can go and you can preview your animation by going to filters animation playback and just hit the play button and as you can tell it looks kind of like it's pulsing and if you like what you have you can go ahead and save it so go to file save as And um, just save it under any name. Just make sure you save it as a GIF file. That's important. Save it as a GIF. And now the next page you should see is this. And just check save as animation. And then you don't mess with this and just save it. And there you go, that's how you can make a simple pulsing animation.